But what's going on, Call of Duty refugees and toxic gamers? Cannot forget my toxic Call of Duty refugees, man. The stuff that is going on in video games and in Call of Duty specifically truly is wild, man. But today, we're gonna talk about some different here, fellas. Yes, this is a real YouTube thumbnail, man, because of what just went down in Call of Duty, for which we just did a video on as well on the channel, guys. But today, you see, we have a four years and 4,000 deaths kind of situation. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Guys, I gotta give everybody equal chances. And guys, I have a video that I want to share with you. We are under emo blame, Trotara. So let's just get into it this is gonna get intense because we're talking about the homie blame truth shout out to him roll this before we even talk about black ops 6 we need to talk about modern warfare 3 now a lot okay. of people don't care about modern warfare 3 now the new call of duty's out so who cares right but there are people that don't buy the new cod every single year i know a lot of people have been like holding off on a new call of duty since cold war if they're treyarch fans until this one but then there are people like that just want to keep playing modern warfare 3 what I told you guys would happen, did happen. I made a video talking about how Activision is going to essentially cease and desist their own game. Now, I wanted yeah. to boot up Modern Warfare 3 quite a bit here, right before Black Ops 6 came out, just to see what they All would right. do to fuck over the player base to kind of force them on to Black Ops 6. And the first thing that happened, I think it was like two nights ago or whatever, was this. You boot up Modern Bumble Warfare 3 and... Bumbleclad Brothers! Yo, what the hell now? That gotta be like, fake. So it does say 117 FPS there, uh, right where my face cam originally was. Damn, so this is a real image or stretched? You get this <laughs> stretched price, wide price, Captain Price stretched out, jump scaring the fuck out of you. I've seen this meme before. I, I think Jake Gyllenhaal <laughs> did it better with why Jake, but you know what? Wide price, jump scared the f <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this thing is crazy, man. This thing is crazy. You think is doing that? To Captain Price? Captain Price? Captain Price is Captain Price, okay? What the hell? Fuck out of me. Then, then, upon doing that, I get this. Call of Duty main? main? It's not even Modern Warfare 3 anymore. It's just this weird, generic placeholder Bruh. text image or whatever Bruh. when launching the game. And then, to my dismay, I realized I, I couldn't launch the game. I, I just flat out could not launch the game. And I have Black Ops 6 installed. A lot of people are saying that's the issue. It's, it's not for me. I literally cannot boot up MW3 whatsoever. Reddit is... The Call of Duty HQ is like literally a big mess up though. They shouldn't be doing like the Call of Duty HQ thing ever since they've done that. It's like all the menus look the same. They're bugs every time a new call of duty drops it's like people are like people do not know what's going on right like so do i delete that game like do i not do that like where like content packs this and that which is like yeah it gets confusion 101 for the normies for the normies maybe not for like a toxic gamer because a toxic gamer is aware of everything right they're also aware of hey, hey they're also aware of that as well so it's like yeah they're aware of the bundles they're aware of the bbc bundles they're aware of like everything that call of duty has to offer right which is absolutely nothing which is absolutely nothing so yeah they're aware of everything but for the normies uh, they're not aware of uh these things right so to them it becomes a problem but guys uh, jokes aside though I uh, like black ops 6 is i it is i it is i it is it is i right like i think it's better than concord and dustborn so yeah uh, i'm using that as a gauge for video games nowadays because yes standards are fallen because video games are not as good as they used to be but i i tried it and it uh, seems like it's a uh, it, it's decent it, it, it's better than uh, it's better than concord though so I, I had a fun time in the beta as well so like yeah it's better than concord up in arms about this they are pretty pissed off for those that you know still want to play mw3 they're essentially being forced on to black ops 6 or they don't get a, a recent call of duty experience and it's the same thing for modern warfare 2 as well apparently it's it's all fucked up and people just let them get away with it well i am not people so i'm gonna call it out but let's actually get into black ops 6 here this isn't about modern warfare 3 but i do want to point out this bullshit it's not oh. right and it needs to be brought up so I had this default operator that looks like Kamala Harris with a 90s grunge beauty filter on, just walking endlessly. And I gotta say, before I even get into the gameplay here, let, let's cut away. These female characters, I, I, look, guys, I, I'm not trying to be a, a dick here, but right away, I know noticed- Nah, go for it, brother. We're all seeing it, man. We're all seeing it. This is a thumbnail from the homie Ghost of Aid, uh, and this is, uh, okay, Black Ops 3. This is the homie Andy Payne. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's the homie uh, Andy Pants. That's his thumbnail, right? Yeah, th this is the this is Doctor Disaster. Like the stuff that is going on in uh, video games in general is just wild. They always do that, right? They're like, hey man, gamers are misogynists. Gamers are misogynists, and then they turn around and they uglify women like that. These suckers are the ones that are actually sexist, racist, misogynistic. They are all of it, bro. They say that we are, but they are the ones literally doing this crap. Yeah, right? Like, girl bosses, I am a queen, I am a queen. Yeah, you are a queen. We believe that you are a queen, but this is not a queen. This is King Kong, bro. This is King Kong, bro. What the hell? This is King Kong. This is not a queen no more, bro. Notice that this particular Damn. broad looks like um, John Madden mixed with a, a little bit of Brock Lesnar too, right? Adrian Brody. She is a bit of a eyesore. I'm not one of those weird guys that wants dead or alive beach volleyball, you know, animated yeah, chicks yeah, or whatever yeah. jiggle physics running around the back. Yeah, yeah, like same here, same here. There are certain games where it works well, for example, Stellar Blade. Yeah, that's cool, right? But generally, right, like make a woman look like a woman. Like, we're not talking about, like, anime, hot titties, this and that. Right now, nah, we're not saying that. But, like, damn, this is what y'all suck is doing to, to females? Bro, y'all suck is are... Bruh, like, what the actual hell, man? Y'all making all my queens look like King Kongs, bro? What the hell are we talking about, man? What the hell, man? Like, damn. Y'all making my queens look like King Kongs? You guys doing this to my black homies? Always making my black homies gay? Salute to Captain BBC! <laughs> Right? To to you guys, brown people like me don't even exist, right? You guys are openly racist towards Asian people. <laughs> and of course, you guys are also openly call out white people as well, right? Ah, oh, white people racist, white people racist. Where are my black homies at? Where are my white people at? Where are my brown people at though? Where are my Asian people at though? These like is racist to everybody. Where are my sisters at though? Yeah, where are my queens at? Where are my queens at, man? They always make every- Bro, like, these things always been doing that, man. These things are openly racist towards everybody, man. To white people, brown brown people to them don't even exist. What am I even saying? Black people, okay, he black, he gay. Uh, hey, is she a woman? Nah, man, he King Kong right now. What the hell is going on in video games? Alright, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. Battlefield. Um, uh, and before I get cancelled, guys, for spitting facts, um, please become a member so the day we get cancelled, I can live another, we can live another day to uh, to fight, essentially, okay? I, I don't think that's... We, we can fight another day, basically. The right way either, but uh, good God, man. There are some not very good looking female characters. There's another one that I was going to say something about, but apparently this character is not oh, even female, technically, so I, I'm not even going to go down that path. I'm not going down that rabbit hole. It's not super important to me, just something I wanted to point out either way. So this is my first match on Black Ops 6, and I we did a video on it yesterday. Uh, I think this is gonna be a conversation for a while because suckers are starting to talk about it. To see Blame Truth talk about it too is it's wild because he would never, he would just he just wanna like hate on Call of Duty, which is fine. That's his thing. That's <laughs> uh, listen, man. I I tried out the 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 Black Ops 6, okay, and I feel like that, and I and I mean that, and I mean that it's better than Concord and Dustborn, okay. Jokes wise, yes, and also I'm being objective too. It is better. <laughs> it is better than Concord and Dustmore. It's a mobile game. It's a very well made mobile game for console. That's my review of it. It's like six, maybe very hard, six point five or seven out of ten. Okay, Bruh. it's very hard for me to give it seven, so I'll give it like six. Okay, it's a six out of ten. And guys, listen. 6 out of 10 is not a bad game. If, if a game is 5 out of 10, that's like average. That's mid, okay? Zombies is mid for me. Maybe not for you. And that's fine though. You guys can disagree. You can agree. Depending on your enjoyment levels uh, with the game or not, right? That's fair. That's uh, that's uh, um, open to you guys agreeing, disagreeing. And that's f perfectly fine. We all got different tastes, right? Uh, I, I used to be big on Call of Duty Zombies. I still want to be, but... Zombies is not the same. Now, if you're a new player that recently uh, picked up Call of Duty, let's just say in the last year, two years ago, three years ago, hell, even five years ago, then the zombies that this game has to offer, it's very good. I Even I'm gonna admit that, okay? But if you... Uh, or, or also, if you started with Warzone, and that's the only Call of Duty that you know of, and then you're gonna jump in zombies, hey, it's amazing that way. But if you played 
Black Ops 1 zombies, Black Ops 2 zombies, Black Ops 3, maybe even Black Ops 4 zombies. Let's just throw Infinite Warfare zombies, which at the time I didn't like, but I damn respect that the fact that they tried something unique, although it was not for me, but I respect that. I respect that, and towards the end of it, the game had plenty content in terms of zombies, not talking multiplayer or uh, Infinite Warfare. So if you played all of that and now you play this, guys, like it's a night and day difference. Like, come on, no, it's it's not that good. But it's also not trash. It's uh, it's not like Modern Warfare 3 zombies bad. It's not like Van Garbage zombies bad, right? It aid though. It aid. It mid, okay? It mid. Uh, I uh, for me so far multiplayer has been fun a little bit. I, the way I like to play video games is that like and especially Call of Duty nowadays is that I'm like Playing the game watching YouTube videos in the background listening to podcasts right learning and growing and at the same time Getting my stimulation and you know working my way and making sure like I still have that Muscle memory of Call of Duty and it helps it really really helps to uh, Multitasking is bad, but you know in situation it does help right? So yeah, like uh, that's the way I've been playing and I've been honestly enjoying my time right with with, the, with it But even I know that it's a well-polished uh, Mobile game made for console right now So I, I want to get the good news kind of out of the way first okay. before I right. get into the bad news oh. Because the bad news is very very bad so the good oh, news crap. when I covered this game in, in beta I said it was one of the worst if not the worst Call of Duty games I personally have ever played and I truly uh, meant for, for me like the beta was good actually for for me for me But I know everybody's uh, different though. So uh, and I understand that that we had a game that had Horrific maps. We had a game that had super clunky movement, which is odd to me because a lot of people are saying it was smooth as silk. But then uh, I, I think those people are basically this Will Smith meme were like, oh, it's good, bro. No, it's, it's fucking good, man. Like, no, this game in beta felt delayed, clunky, heavy. I felt like a sumo wrestler on ice. It wasn't good. Treyarch <laughs> actually said, hey, we're going to work to improve this. So I'm glad enough people. So, okay, so, yeah, he's saying beta was bad, but now uh, MP, uh, the final game is better. Okay, so, yeah, good news, okay. People complained, they didn't just, like, take it, you know? Because this feels way better than beta. The responsiveness of the controls, the fluidness of the movement, the omni movement, it's literally night and day. And I, I, this is a pretty good positive, because this is, like, the main selling point, the main gimmick of the game. If the main gimmick felt as bad as it did in beta at full launch, I, I wouldn't even bother with this game. It was that mm. bad. I'm not sure what oh, you guys damn. were smoking to say, oh, this feels great. Combined with the fact, by the way, combined with the fact that... I, I've never been made nauseous by a video game until I played the Black Ops 6 beta. The amount of camera shake, bobbing, that Bruh. overboard, like, seasick Bruh. death cam, all that stuff has been told. Okay, uh, what about X Define, though? X Define? <laughs> you, you think X Define's better uh, than Black Ops 6 Blame Truth? Yeah, like, uh, my, my man always glazes X Define, so I wonder if he's gonna bring that up or not. I hope he does, man. I hope he does. Hold down. Thank fucking God. I had to drink Pepto Bismol, like Stone Cold Steve Austin, turning it up two bottles at a time to even get through this game's shitty fucking beta, man. It was that bad. But they toned all that down. You even have the option to make it so your gun doesn't, like, sway back and forth like a windshield wiper whenever you're, like, aiming around a corner. I turned all that crap off. I turned okay. all the camera shake and all that stuff way down to 50%, and I played, like, three matches. All right, so we get it, homie. So we get it, Holmes. Now let's get down to the bad news, Poppy. Roll it. Good news. That is the extent of the good news. Now let's get to the bad news. I don't oh. want to pull the wool over your guys' eyes because this. Oh, I'm excited for this one, man. I'm excited for this one, man. Guys, we finally about to get down to the emo blame truth era. Get ready for this one, man. I'm excited for the emo blame truth era, guys. It's commencing. It it is commencing. Roll it. No packet burst. Good connection thing lasted one single match. You see, I happen to do pretty decent in this match. I, I wasn't dropping nukes by any means, but I got the Valkyrie rockets or whatever it's called in this game. Uh, I, I got those twice and I popped them off. And I guess the Call of Duty gods did not like that because the two matches I had after this one were the uh -huh. laggiest fucking matches I think I've ever played on Call of okay. Duty. Constant packet loss. Not just packet burst, but packet loss. Constant packet burst. And both matches I did not complete because this is inexcusable. These motherfuckers have had four goddamn years to get this right. And I'm not even talking about yeah. Treyarch. I'm talking about these. Honestly, bro, this is why I'm saying this is a well-made mobile game for console because these suckers have four years. And, and listen, guys, uh, subjectively, I, I'm actually enjoying for what it is. But objectively, I can differentiate both of these, right? Like, uh, so far, I like the multiplayer, okay? Bruh. For me. I like I like it. I feel like that it's fun. Uh, it's better than Concord and Desmond. You know, it's better than Concord and Desmond, right? Like I said a million times already. But uh, I, subjectively, 
I'm liking it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it in a month from now, two weeks from now, a year from now. I don't know about it, okay? But so far, I'm liking it. But objectively, guys, come on now. Like, like, damn, man. This game is not a 10, though. This game is not even a 9. It's not even an 8. Uh, if you give it, like, 4... I understand that i would not call it like zero i would not say this game is a two <laughs> like some of you might say but if that's your real review for the game that's your real review for the game i get that i understand that for me i would say like 5.5 to 6 it's very hard to up the score any more than that right yeah it's a well polished mobile game for console essentially right where it's hard to uh, for a normie perhaps to see the difference hey is that really a mobile game oh did i really play a mobile game or did i really play like a well made four years four thousand devs four years made game for a uh, console yeah i guess like for four years bro this sucker man this sucker dog like it's not impressive it is not impressive at all it's average it's mid and i get it not every game is gonna be 10 out of 10 i get that right but for four years and four thousand devs i guess four thousand devs that's like a joke now it's three thousand that's like the last uh we heard that's all she wrote three thousand i mean that was a real thing though three years three thousand devs for modern warfare 2022 like most advanced call of duty and you know in that we ended up getting that really <laughs> Yeah, most advanced, my ass, bro. They went with the most advanced BBC bundles in, in that game, bro. <laughs> These seconds crazy with that, man. They did that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it does it does not feel like a four-year made game. Or a game that's made in four years, bro. Uh, I'm being honest, man. Let me know your, your expertise as well, guys. He's suit and tie pieces of shit at Activision. No one else is going to say this, guys. They're on the payroll. They're, they're on the uh, event invite list. I am not. I, I, another observation, just an observation. Maybe I am currently enjoying the game because I did not purchase, like, Modern Warfare 3 last year. I skipped on that. And I haven't been, like, a hardcore... Call I'm a hardcore Call of Duty fan, but I haven't been a hardcore fan or a player in the last few years i would play here and there and i would usually play the old call of duty games and that's about it right so i kind of quit playing call of duty religiously years and years ago maybe that's why i'm getting to enjoy it a little bit more and also recently there have been bad games after bad games so i'm not playing any games right now i'm just waiting for gta 6 to be quite frank with you guys uh because every other game it's like trash I'm waiting for, like, good story games as well, good single-player games as well. I'm also hoping that there's a good multiplayer game. I hope the next Battlefield game is good. They already confirmed that it's coming out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Rumor-wise, uh, we're hearing it's gonna come out next year. But they confirmed it officially that it's been in development, right? We heard that a couple of times already by EA, which is wild, because normally they would not. Uh, Activision, I guess, would not. They would uh, release and announce, or I mean, announce the game very close to release. But EA, I guess, they like to hype it up a little bit before, because they know know right they are going to uh they're going against call of duty call of duty everybody knows about it battlefield mostly i would say everybody knows about it but people don't buy battlefield the way they buy call of duty so battlefield sales are usually low and ever since you know battlefield 5 with that uh, i mean battlefield 5 had similar we know what they've done with battlefield 5 right especially in ww2 setting they actually put like a check with the baseball bat right and all that just uh, taking up all the men out there in the ww2 it's like <laughs> bro what are we talking and of course after the debacle of battlefield 2042 and i reinstalled battlefield 2042 and i've been enjoying that too as well why because like i don't give a damn about it anymore right like uh, i was burned pretty badly with battlefield 2042 at launch but now going in without any expectations it's chill it's not the best battlefield game don't get me don't get me wrong but kind of like enjoying it well, I, I guess it's probably because like i got no other games to play basically i think that's what it is i think that's what it is for me let me know if that's relatable let me know if you like does that sound relatable to you like you feel the same way maybe not yeah share your experience guys for sure absolutely uh, th thank you for subscribing brother appreciate it look at this match on subsonic this is just starting out the game just started look at the left there let me just zoom in on it for you if you can't see and this is not just packet loss but packet burst it's going to pop up constantly I mean, look at how bad this is. And don't give me that it's just launch or whatever. The servers are under load. This has been happening on every Call of Duty game for the past three or four years. I want you to look at this fucking hitch that happens right up here. Packet loss constantly. I'm getting shot by the chopper. I'm rubber banding around. It feels like shit! This is not a triple A experience. I leave the match.
So then we have this match on payback here, and just get a load. Uh, I would say uh, Black Ops 6 is like a double A game. Yeah. Of this it's opening spawn. Game. This is my third. Of course, it's a triple A game, but it feels like double A. Match. I spawn in, immediately hit with packet burst on the left there, immediately getting shot at by some random guy, and then I just drop dead. All right. Now, I'm going to go over here, and I, I want to look at the maps. You know, I will say this. The maps aren't very good from what I've played from the Bruh. beta, but they're nice to look at Bruh. when they work properly. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on here. Really don't know what's going on. But the water's flashing. It's very distracting. Okay, now, I'm not going to judge that uh, bug too much, though. I feel like that they're going to patch it very quick. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're making a review video, then you got to you gotta count in everything, I guess. Otherwise, it looked great. But let's show some more gameplay of it here. I mean, this match, at the very least, isn't a packet loss match, but I do experience packet burst sporadically during this particular gameplay. This map, by the way, is so tiny. I, I mean, it's no wonder I spawned looking at a guy when I first spawned in. Guys, I, I haven't played all of the maps that weren't in beta yet, obviously. To, to be honest, though, I have not played this map just yet. Uh, and yeah, I haven't played all the maps either, like, for sure. Right? Uh, but I like the idea of smaller maps. Why? Because... Uh... Uh, uh, Modern Warfare 2019, ever since Modern Warfare 19, we've had like big maps, huge maps, and then it promotes camping on top. So it was, uh, that. that's why, yeah, yeah, I stopped playing Call of Duty religiously. I was ridiculously hyped for Modern Warfare 19 and the promises that they made, and after that game came out, bro, like that was massive disappointment. It introduced skill-based matchmaking as well, and it introduced a camping spot, so much of that cheese, and a whole lot of that crap. And that killed my passion for Call of Duty, but I remember a year later I went back to Modern Warfare 19 and I enjoyed my time. Why? Because, uh, you know, the next game was out and skill-based matchmaking was shifted there and, you know, then Modern Warfare 19 had less uh, SBMM lobbies and people were playing like people. People were not camping and I enjoyed my time better. So, I think it's, yeah, right? Like, so the map design was absolutely trash and that, of course, like, I'm... Um, I'm not gonna judge the maps too heavy because I haven't played the maps, all the maps either, and I haven't played that much in terms of multiplayer. I uh, the beta I played a lot, and, and I enjoyed my time with it. But in terms of the map, I'm not sure if these maps are trash or not playing wise. Some people are saying the map design is trash. I'm seeing that, but for me, I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna like give my opinion on it. I gotta play, but I like the idea of smaller maps. I feel like that we need we need balance. We need some bigger maps too, but smaller maps. I like that. Hopefully, rushing style, no camping. Y you know what I mean, right? So hopefully, I played actually another see. one after this, but it was uh, it was that vault map. I think it was not very good. Again, packet burst. I don't think I have a recording of that one though. I think I just closed the, the game out after that because I was just sick okay. of it. But the point of all this is is that spawns don't seem to be improved from beta. The connection yeah. is the same old garbage. It's the same old lazy shit from this billion dollar company. Billion with a B. They cannot figure their net code out. They cannot figure their, their packet burst issue out. But then I, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that when I played that first match, I did not have an issue. By the way, this right here, complete bullshit. I'm like, how did he know to you know look there? That's because he can see me through the wall. Just this dumb shit, man. I, I don't think that's a very healthy perk. Personally, I'm gonna back out and we're gonna go back. He might have used that swag. <laughs> Like that, right? To juice in the game. Yeah, this game's gonna have massive issues with cheaters too, bro. Like, I, got, I can already feel it. Turn off those cross-play, brothers, if you already bought the game, so. Back to the main gameplay on Skyline. The point is, though, is that this whole connection issue thing, from what I am understanding and from what I've tested over the years, it seems like if you are just dog water at COD, you literally get better connections. I mean, it's factual. Drifter figured this out in, like, Cold War. Maybe, you know what? I'm gonna fully admit it. Maybe the reason I'm, in, I'm liking the game is because I'm actually not that good in Call of Duty anymore. And I'm gonna admit it. I'm gonna admit it. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's the reason. And if I get better at the game, then my experience would be horrible, like most of the people experience gets becomes horrible when they get better right this is why the normies and the casuals they love call of duty nowadays right yeah and the hardcore fans the true fans they are like e -e 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 -e, you know what i mean like me like blame trust like you guys as well i guess right even though i'm enjoying the game right now but like guys i'm not blind bro like i'm gonna be lying through my teeth if i said that this game is a 10 it's not a 10 i'm enjoying it for me but it's not a 10. It's like a well-made mobile game. It's like a polished third. Uh, I'm just being honest, man. You, if you want me to lie, guys, I can lie all day if you want to, man. But I'm not lying. I'm, I'm just being honest, man. And at all. Aside from that, aside from that, what is the final verdict on Black Ops 6 here? Should there you buy go. it? I say there no, you should not buy it. If you want to do the Game Pass thing... And man ended up buying, or maybe he got through Game Pass. Okay, that's fine. I guess like, you gotta review the game, right? So I get it. 
which by the way, I tried to do the Game Pass thing because I'm like, well, even if it sucks, it's like $12 to play it for a month and never touch it again. Microsoft wouldn't let me. They just straight up would not let me. No matter what payment method I used, they would not mm. let me get Game Pass. I, I, I literally tried everything for hours. Uh -huh. Just trying to get anything to work. I tried PayPal, debit card, a second debit card, a credit card, right. Venmo. They would not let me get PC Game Pass. And I'm not sitting on hold for 30 minutes talking to some random guy that doesn't speak English to try to get it fixed. So whatever, dude. I, I purchased it on Steam, and I haven't played enough to even, like, you know, not get a refund on it. I can still get a refund on it. I would say, honest to God, try it out on Game Pass if you're curious. Other than that, though... Or I would say, like, Steam, yeah, two hours, right? Like, if you... Uh played for more than two hours then you cannot get a refund but under two hours you can get a refund and i'm being serious here i even tried zombies out that didn't even really grab me it felt like warzone even Zo though. zombies had the biggest letdown for me man zombies is uh yeah man that was the reason why i didn't even bother pre-ordering or buying it day one i'm like i'm just gonna wait watch gameplay first and then get uh, and then see if i want to buy the game or not right zombies is just trash in this game so far so far i know this is uh, some of you would disagree but I guess it'd be what it'd be. Check out this video on the screen. This is that zombies video that we did, man. Right? Like, check it out. You're gonna know why it's trash. On the left, we got cheaters getting caught playing Call of Duty, guys. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.